Hi everybody! Um, thank you to everybody that watched the live yesterday. Those of you that did will know that I said I was going to have a, a rest. Well, I'm having a rest from lives because they take me two days to prepare for, believe it or not. Um, but the little videos that I do, I'll probably carry on. In fact, I will carry on doing those whenever I think I've got something that you might like to see. So today I'm going to be using my Sizzix, one of the Chapter 3 releases. This one is The Collector and it's got this um, coin envelope. I reckon you could call it coin envelope in there. So that's the piece I'm going to use. Now, the larger pieces in all the Chapter 3 don't fit in the sidekick. So I've had to bring out my Gemini MIDI. And you'll laugh when you see the arrangement I've got <laughs> for cutting plates. I've got this like ancient, and I mean, I mean, you can see how chopped up this board is. But it just so happens it's the right, right thickness. And then I've got one of the boards that came with it, which I must say are not fit for purpose, uh, in my opinion. They just buckle in no time at all, and I don't like it. The the other thing I'm using here is Tim Holtz Coordinations paper, which comes, I don't know if it still does come actually, but I've got quite a few packs of this. Um, Tim Holtz and Ranger Distress Collection, and they're called Colour Core, they're called Coordinations, and it's Colour Core cardstock. So it's the colour right through to the middle. It's got a bit of a texture on it. You can take your sandpaper to it, get all sorts of effects with it. We won't be like this here, look, see, they've sanded it. It's delicious, isn't it? However, that's um, the paper I'm using. You can use any paper you like. I just like this. And I have opted for the one called Rusty Hinge. Why would I not? So I'm, I'm going to be using, it's got a smooth side and it's got a really quite lumpy, bumpy side. The lumpy, bumpy side is definitely better if you want to sand it. If you want to stamp on it, then the smooth side is better. So I'm opting for the smooth side today. I'm just going to pop my die in there. And then this, this thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, over the top and then pass it through my Gemini MIDI. It's such a shame because th this actually works really well. Believe it or not, it's it's got good pressure, too much pressure for the plates. So that's the problem. Um, but one pass through there, and we'll be good to go, I reckon. Let's just check it out. Yeah, there we go. Just that bit at the leading edge didn't quite catch, and that's my fault. I shouldn't have put that so close to the start of it. Let's just trim that off. So yeah, there's our um, coin envelope. I'll put that die back away in there, otherwise I'll never find it. So it lives in there. And then we've got some bits and pieces that we can mess around with. So let me just get rid of the plates, the Gemini. and get cracking with what we're doing. Now, when it dies, uh, when it die cuts, it also um, scores in very light lines uh, where you need to be folding it. So I'm just going to fold it on those score lines like that. Same on the other side. They're not deep, these. You've got to be a bit careful with them, actually. Like that, lovely. And then the bottom folds up. And the top folds down. Like so. So there we have it already. Our lovely little uh, coin envelope. Those of you that bought my templates, <laughs> stupid thing to say, but I can't find mine. Put them somewhere safe. 
and I've got no clue where they are. Um, but if you if you use the coin envelope, the large coin envelope that's in there, you get a much bigger coin envelope, um, which may be what you're looking for. It may not be. I think there's two sizes actually in my template. So this is this. Let's ink around it. It is Tim Holtz after all. It would just be against the law not to ink it. I think. So rusty hinge and vintage photo. It's just a marriage made in heaven. You don't have to ink. You don't have to use this card. You know, just do what you want to do. But the nice little things just to pop into pockets and journals all for happy mail or anything like that so that looks so much better already doesn't it oh yes it does So there's a bit of inking to do. I'm going to ink the inside of this flap, around the edges, should I say, because you'll be lifting that up to get out whatever's on the inside. Uh, and one of the sides down here, the side that's going to go on the top when you glue it. So I'll just they're both the same, so I'll just make this one the top one. Around the bottom. You probably you'll never see the bottom, I don't think. Because it's going to be covered over with that. So that was a waste of life. <laughs> right, is that everything? Oh no, around the top of the flap. There we are. So we're nicely inked up. Marvellous. I'll pop that away just now. Right, so when we've got this all made like that. Yes, that's looking nice. Okay, so let's deal with the front bit first, which is this section. I'm just going to leave it flat. I mean, it's not quite flat, but it's easier to stamp on before you build the back in. Um, so I want... I'm going to use a piece of Janya's lovely coffee or tea stained paper. I don't know which she used, but it's really, really nice. It's delicate, but it's, oh, it's lovely. And I want a little tag just to go on the front there. Um, a pencil would be handy. So I want it to come to about there. So it is, it's tiny weeny and about there. And I'll tell you what that measures. It's one and three quarters by just a little over two and three quarters. And I'll just cut that out. So much stuff underneath my desk. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm still in love with my big Timmy trimmer. Absolutely adore it. So I'm going to have a very teeny tag here that's going to go there on that side. And then I want, um, what do I want? I might use this. I've got these file folders. I mean, I've butchered this already. I've half used it and I've used a little bit there. They're very thin, um, but they're quite a nice craft. I like them, I like the colour of them. And I want a ticket. And I've got my Tim Holtz ticket stamp set, which is Ticket Booth, CMS337. I think you get dies that go with this as well, but to be quite honest, they're not, you know, they're not that complicated to cut out. So I want it to, yeah, that, that one will do. How's that one? How do you get in? Yeah. So I'll use this one. And I also want to find, oh, well, I'll do one thing at a time, my dear. One thing at a time. Don't get so excited. 
right and I'm going to do it in black I've ordered some more Versafine uh, in the you know this no Nocturne there's still some ink left in this but it is I can't bear to leave it until it's out what will I do then right so let's just pop that there and then we can cut round it just give it a time for the ink to get into that craft perfect stamp oh it's lovely um, I'm trying to be kind to stamps it's be kind to stamps week because I don't I'm, I'm, I mistreat my stamps and I shouldn't because they are a blinking fortune and I've already had to replace my field note stamp set because well frankly I've just abused it I'm a stamp abuser <laughs> I can't bear those bits of blinking stickiness that you get at the top you drive you dotty right so I've cleaned it I've put it back in its packet what more can I do and then I've got this darkroom door uh, set they're such a useful set this one really is uh, it's called DDR darkroom door S212 and it's called number medley and I use this a lot they also have a lovely butterfly set that I use a lot as well this one is great you can see what you get in it there and they all come in these sort of CD DVD boxes which is great for keeping all your stamps together I do so much prefer them to those stupid stampy um, sticky bits right I'm going to use this big one I don't need that size obviously so let's get a bit of blue roll I'll just put that out there and I just want to stamp on this bit of uh, Janya paper Um, I might want that bit at the top actually let's do that it's got some text at the top and then numbers all the way down so I don't I'm not massively fussed if this doesn't come out perfect sometimes it's quite nice to have a bit of imperfection uh, so let's just try it there see what gives give it a minute it's very very fine this I wouldn't ad advise that you use anything like distress ink or anything on this you wouldn't get a good stamp look at that that's fabulous I love it look at the detail on that it's amazing isn't it amazing so let's oh no let's wipe it off this is going to be a hard habit to get into but I'm going to try. There we go. So I've got this and this. So let's, well, I'll cut that out roughly, then I'll cut it out on the little Timmy trimmer. So this edge here at the top is the factory edge so I can use that to straighten other edges up from. So I'll put that down at the bottom. very nice I like that a lot don't think I've ever used that stamp before and then this I want to cut off um, some little ears to make it look like a tiny little tag so I have got a teeny weeny one here look at the state of my hand I've been playing with ink again I'm always playing with ink <laughs> so just making this into a teeny tiny little tag
There we go. Oh, I really like that. Lovely. So I am going to ink them, obviously. This is the thing about Timmy sort of stuff. There is a lot of inking goes on. But they just don't look right without it. To me. Jania's paper is just perfect for that. It's just that lovely soft colour. I mean, white would just look not right. But because it's so light, it takes that stamp really well. So there we are. That's that inked up nicely as well. think at some stage I am going to have to stop and wipe my fingers they're just a little bit too bad so I'm going to put that there and that there and that's going to form a sort of pocket or a tuck maybe um, and then we'll pop something in the top so I want to stick this over that and it's going up to that line there so let's put the glue on up to that line So hope you're all doing okay today. It was supposed to be a nice day. The weather forecast lady told me it was going to be nice. I feel she lied. Or at least misled me. Because it's... What time is it? Nearly five o'clock in the afternoon. And it's really quite dark. So it's not sunny at all. But she did say the rest of the week would be getting better and better. So I live in hopes. It would be good. <laughs> A little bit of promise of summer would be nice. So that's going to go there like that. Now it's at this stage you can work out whether you want to put stamps up here, down here, maybe. I don't know. I quite like that as it is. So I might just, might just stick that on. I might just put um, an eyelet through there. Just going to make a, a little hole with the little side of my eyelet punch. There we go. And I'm not going to put an eyelet in it, although I do have eyelets that fit that nowadays because in this morning's post a package from the lovely Diane Johnson who's been with me forever forever and ever and ever sent me uh, some eyelets amongst which were some small ones so thank you very much Diane very very grateful to you as you know I'd exhausted the possibilities here and couldn't just couldn't get them Let's just do that like that. And cut those off. This doesn't fray this, but if yours frays, you might want to put some glue just at the end of them. I might just actually put a little bit of glue, ugh, glue there and press that down onto it because the ends aren't very long and they might just come undone, um, which would just be a pest, wouldn't it? So I'm just hanging on to it with my finger while trying to fix this on to my glue. <gasps> there we are. I'm just going to put a clip on that. I don't know where my little clips have gone. They must be in there somewhere. I'm just going to clip it and then it can glue away till its heart's content right so 
fine okay so that's the front just about finished we need to find something you know a, a tag to put inside it so what shall i use hmm, that's a good question to which i haven't thought the answer through okay so i had a look around and i came across this uh, which is a cover of um, some some music. I've used all the music out of it and I'm left with this cover which is just delicious. Look at the natural aging on that. But it is a colour that I think goes nice with Rusty Hinge. So I'm going to make my tag, my little tag thing that goes in there out of this. So let's just mark it. It's better than measuring. So I want it to go down to about there and I want it to come across to about there. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this out roughly and then I can cut it on my trimmer because I do not trust myself to cut anything square. It just doesn't happen in this place. Right. There we go. So I've got a nice little tag there. Ooh, that's delicious. And it's going to go, that's going to go there like that. And is that going to fit in there? Possibly not. What if I made it, if I brought that right over to that side and made this a tuck, which is what I might do. I think yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this down so I just want to glue down down here and across the bottom Ooh. <laughs> I got the collie wobbles today that's it isn't it yeah so I want that quite close to the edge and quite close to the bottom. Put that down. There's a fair bit of glue around the place. So I just press that down with my towel. Then you get all the pressure and the, the glue is absorbed by the towel. So there we are, we'll just leave that for a minute or two. And let's just, that's definitely going to fit in there. Yeah, that's fine. So um, I want to stamp onto this. And I think I will use, hmm, oh, I quite like that. That's really nice. Yeah, let's use that. This is a stamp that, uh, Jen and Mike sent me. I think they were on sale in, I want to say Joanne's, but I don't really know. And they so kindly sent them to me. Quite a lot, actually. So, yeah, that could go there. Let's get my piece of blue roll out again because the stump is bigger than the thing excuse my head if you can see it i just need to get over here to make sure it's square this is nice isn't it i don't believe i've ever used this one before i do like it oh that's lovely lovely okay wipey wipe and then put it away. What else have we got in here? We've got a circle, like a um, mixed media type looking thing. Mixed media, mixed media, some crosses which are nice. Actually, that's a lovely stump set. Um, what else have I got? I've got, well, you know, as usual, my eccentric 
field notes, etc. I've also got these. Are we there yet? I love that. An itinerary. Oh, that would have been nice for the whole thing, wouldn't it? Oh, well, too late now. I've used something else. Uh, and I've also got those um, creative expression stamps, which I like a lot. So much so, I'm probably going to buy the other two in the set. So let's have a look what we've got. I like this number up here in the box. Oh, no, it's a frame and the number is separate. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I quite like that frame anyway. I'm having it. So just drop it down because if you, if you move it, you'll get it off square. So just drop it so there's no tension on it at all. Let's put that there. It's coming off the side. Lovely. I thought it was a complete stamp, you know, with something uh, inside it, but it's just the frame, which I like. Um, so I want something in here, don't I? Well, they're all delightful, so it's not really going to matter what I have in there. I'll go for this one. Whoops, a doozy. Look at me not looking after my stamps. There we go. Right. So this is sort of handwritten script, so I'm going to do it in red. Lovely. That is looking lovely. Right. Yeah, you're all thinking to yourself, how long is this going to last? Cleaning your stamps. I don't know, but I hope it lasts a long time. Okay. So, what are we going to put on the rest of it? Good question. Let's get back to the the bag of goodies that is this mixture of all sorts of eccentric field notes, you name it. That's a bit too little, isn't it? What about does destination fit on the bottom? Yeah. Let's put destination on there. Let's put the lid on my glue as well while I think about it. Give it a minute, especially these big block letters um, for the, the glue, I nearly said, for the ink to transfer from one to another. Oh, look at that. Wow. -ee. Cleany, cleany. And then just something up there. So just something out of my bag of goodies. What about this circle? Mm, not liking it now, I've got it out. That's too long. What about the telephone number? No, I like the tag number better. Does that fit on there? Does it, heck? Now I've lost the telephone number. It's just marginally... Too long. Ah, 785. I was looking for that earlier today. 
and I couldn't find it. I really like this number. Don't know why, it's just the right size and everything. I think, more than I actually like the number. Right, so let's just pop that down there. Lovely, that's our little tag. finished so I need to back it with something and um, ink around it of course so I'm going to back it with some of Janya's paper it does seem a bit of a waste I'll grant you that because it's so gorgeous but it is in keeping with the rest of the thing so I'm, I'm, I'm going to bite the bullet and use it put the back on first before I ink it and then I can get right round all the edges properly because if you put the back on after you've inked it you kind of get a white line where the where the backing is lovely lovely Mr. F's giving our fire a good clean out today. It's um, during the winter, it's pretty much on all the time. So, you know, it's on kind of tick over, but it's on all the time. And then in the evening, if we're cold, he can crank it up a bit and it's lovely and cozy. But, you know, we don't really need it on today. So he's decided to give it a good clean. It's got glass doors, so he's got some mad strength cleaner on them at the moment. Oh dear. Right, so that's going to be our little tag. That's the back of our little tag. And I'm just going to round off the corners so it'll go in and out a bit more readily. Just the quarter inch side. There we go. Lovely. And get my inky board. Ink this up. It's always a good idea when you start inking. You know, when you've just put ink on your dabber. Just pounce it off a lightly just a couple of times because otherwise you get a dark mark on where you're inking and try as you may you will not get rid of it it's a right pest so just you know pounce off the very very surplus and then you'll get more even coverage there we are that looks nice doesn't it so let's do a little bit oh look at that Oh dear, that's not great. That's a bit mucky, isn't it? That's because my ink, inky board needs a wash. But it's it's okay. Fortunately for a project like this, it's kind of all right. I can just about get away with it. But I do need to wash my inky board. It's disgusting. Right, so that should be dry. So this should fit into there now nicely and it does just perfectly yeah i like that a lot um shall i put a tag in the top of there i don't know i'll leave that till later so now what i'm going to do is uh, glue these down and then we can do a little bit of stamping on the back there's not a great deal of overlap on these so I think if I just glue the top one will be okay. This um, wrong side as it is at the moment of the paper really has got quite a lot of texture on it. Which as I say is lovely if you want to sand it. Yeah, I, don't, I think I might have said it wrong at the beginning. 
In the core of this paper is craft. So when you sand it, you get craft showing through, which is really nice. Um, where's my sanding block here? I'll just show you on this bit here. I just think that's gorgeous. Then you can ink over it if you want and the ink will go further into the card, where, you know, where you've just sanded. Let's see if I can do it on oh, kind of bit, yeah. It's so lovely. I hadn't intended to do this, but it's so nice, I can't help myself. Oh, I could do a little bit on there as well. made it interesting. I don't know where that's come from. That round shape. Not that it matters because that's going in there like that. You see that lovely bit there. Oh nice. Um, have you seen my Tim Holtz ideology sanding thing? <laughs> Brilliant. You don't need that. A piece of sandpaper will do you fine. Just I happened to have one. Came in one of Mr. F's <laughs> giant holes from somewhere, wherever he gets them from, off eBay, I think. Right, there we are. So we just need to um, stamp something on here. Now, I don't want to stamp the whole, the whole thing, just bits of it. Um, so I'm just wondering what... These, these tickets are quite nice, aren't they? What about that one? That would go right down that half there, just perfectly. So I'm just going to get a piece of uh, scrap paper from somewhere here, in fact. in the top because I think it might be just a bit too tall maybe just a, a fraction I don't want to take the chunk put that on there ink it up oh I love that when it's sanded honestly it's like a different thing altogether so this is quite fine so make sure you ink it well And we'll just stamp that on there. Market Street Railway Company. <laughs> just give it a second. Oh, that is perfect. That is so good. Come on. I must say stamping is kind of not my thing. I don't do a whole lot of stamping really, to be honest with you. But when it goes right, it's very satisfying. <laughs> so what am I going to put on the other side? That's the question. Uh, oh, I quite like this one. I quite like that there. Anything else? Um, it's those numbers which are really quite nice. But that would bump that up to there. That would be okay. 
shake well before using. <laughs> That's quite nice up there. I just want something to down there. And there's got to be something in my bag of goodness. How about reserved? No, it's a bit little. Factory number? Yeah, that's fine. Right, so let's just start at the top. Work our way down. This one you won't see really because it'll be tucked under there. Perfect. Oh, clean, clean, clean. Put it back in my bag of goodness. Then this one. Oh, I must say I love that rusty hinge when it's sanded. That is sublime. Well, it's not sublime, is it? It's a piece of paper that's been sanded, but you know what I mean? It looks really nice. So let's see if I can get this square. Lovely. Cleaning, cleaning. Yeah, I've hardly used these ticket stamps. So they're coming up nice and clean when I clean them. The ones in my bag of goodness, <laughs> they've been used to death. So I'll put this one on next. Whoops. They probably need a bit of a wash actually because they're not keen to stick onto my little stumpy thing. Which way up? This way. looking nice <laughs> went flying there we go and just this little one left and then we're finished with the stamping I think There's, if you heard that noise that's Mr F opening a can of beer <laughs> it's not you might know we don't drink. <laughs> He's opening a bottle of Diet Pepsi. Well, it's not even Diet Pepsi, to be honest with you. It's um, Aldi's own or Lidl's own Diet Pop. <laughs> we live the high life here, you know. Absolute high life. Right. So we are progressing nicely in an orderly direction. So I just need to glue that up there now and then that possibly needs a stamp on it. We'll have a look and see. So I'm just going to go around the outside here with the glue because if you go around that bit it cuts into the depth of your pocket, available pocket. So let's just hang on to that for a minute. Well, I, oh, look at that. Easy peasy. Yeah, I think that could do with a stamp. Let's see what I've got in the bag of goodness. Uh, transportation company. Why ever not? Yeah, so I hope all of you are doing okay. I know that we're not all okay all of the time, but if we are okay some of the time, we're winning. I would say if you're okay some of the time, you're winning. There we go. So that's that. I'm just going to stamp that off. Lovely. So I'm quite happy with that little lot. I do need something on there. Yes, I do. But what? 
Oh, I'm liking this. Um, what am I going to put on that? That's a question to ask, isn't it? Well, I could put one of these um, sample numbers. Yes, that's what I'll do. Um, I don't know why. I, why am I even looking? You know, they're all gorgeous and all much of a muchness, so it doesn't really matter. So I'll go with that one. And I'm going to do it in red. Don't know why. Just fancy it. Sure, I've got it the right way up. Yeah, that's nice. It doesn't really stand out loads, um, but it stands out enough. It's nice. Okay. Let's put that back where it belongs. Lovely. Progress has been made. I think the woman who had this before me must have tried to re-ink it or something, I think. Because there's a lot of ink around the outside of it. But it still works perfectly, so that'll do me. Now, you could, if you wanted, put a string and button there and a string and button there. I'm not going to on this occasion, because what I'm going to do is put a safety pa uh, paper clip there, because I like the look of paper clips. And I particularly like these little ones that I've got with a heart on. They're just darling, they're lovely. So that's going to go... there like that so that's how it'll look but before that we need to make a, a card something to go inside it so i'm thinking that once again i'll use not that one i've already made that one well, i could cut that one up though because that's quite a nice card but it just it hasn't got a home so let's let's cut it up and give it a home We'll cut it up. If it doesn't look right, we'll uh, find something else. So I'll cut it there and I'll cut it. You need to um, be pretty accurate on this one. Otherwise it won't stick, you know, you won't see it at the top. See if this fits. That is perfect, absolutely perfect. But we need to um, back it. So this little bit that I've got left of Johnny's paper will do. I mean, I've got loads. I've got loads of sheets, but I don't want to waste them all backing stuff. That's just silly. Try and keep it away from the dirty, inky mat this time. Because it didn't seem to like... Well, it just made a mess, didn't it? It made a mess on the back of my thing, but that's not the be-all and end-all. There we go. Trim this out. So this needs inking, but 
see I've already managed to get it in a mess. But I'm going to leave it till I wash my inky board before I um, do that. So that fits in there perfectly. Our paper clip goes on there like that. Now we've got the heart side that way, that's nicer. Um, got our little tag. Yeah. So, just some way of decorating it now, really. Let's put these stumps to the side. Um, so, what I thought I would do was to... I've stamped out this, which is a little uh, flower, as you can see. And I thought I would paint it, uh, paint in inverted commas, with um, ink. So I've got out my Distress Spray Stain Speckled Egg. I've also got out peeled paint, which I, I mean, I can't see a project being complete without that, to be honest. And I've also got out Rusty Hinge in case I wanted it for anything, because it's that's the colour of the, the overall project. So let's do the leaves first. So uh, just get a, a brush. That's a bit on the little side. I've lost my good brushes. I don't know where they've gone. Um, so I'm just going to put out a little bit. You really don't need much. It goes a long, long way. And a bit of water. You could use your ink pads instead of a spray stain. That would work just as well. Just um, drop them down onto, the, onto your glass mat. So just pick up little bits. And we're just going to paint the flowers. Paint the pretty flowers. So I'm just going to give them overall one coat to start with. I really, my next purchase must be some watercolour paint, uh, paint brushes. And there's something else I need to look after properly. I used to do a lot of watercolour painting and I had proper watercolour brushes. But where they've gone or what's happened to them, I haven't got a clue. There we go. So just all over, give this a bit of a... more of a sort of wash of colour really than anything. Just all over where the leaves are. Um, Mr. F's showing me watercolour brushes. I'll try that one, thank you. Mm. Thank you. So they're all going to be exactly the same colour green, just all over them and then we'll leave that to dry a little bit and we'll come back in and put some deeper tones in it. You don't have to do this, you could stamp a butterfly out and cut it out. That would work equally well I'm sure. So there we are. There's Catkin shouting about something, he's just come in so I don't know whether he's trying to tell us something or Tell us he wants his dinner, I've no idea. So I'll leave that green just to consider life for a moment. Wash my brush out of the green that's on it. Wipe up that water, which is now quite greeny. And put my speckled egg down. And put some more water down. I have no idea what this combination is going to look like, but time will tell. So I'm going to paint my flowers in pretty much the same way as I painted the leaves. Just give them all a wash of that speckled egg. Oops, picked up a bit too much water there. Uh, ink. But it's okay. It's a very um, mild colour, isn't it? That's Mild isn't the word, but... You know what I mean? It's um, 
pastel -y colour. There we go. So just all over. I'm not favouring any part above any other. I'm just giving everything what, what they call a wash of ink. So they're all a uniform colour like that. Great, so now we'll leave those to dry and we'll go back into the green. So let's wash the brush off in that bit of water that's there. Go back into the green and some little bits in the, in the sort of middle need to be a little bit darker just to add a bit of something. Maybe the stem as well, a little bit down here. Just little bits, just to accent, accent them. And down here, the stems, and then nearer the middle, it's going to be darker. In my land, it doesn't have to be, but in my land it is. this one's lying underneath that one on top so it's going to be darker underneath and you can come back several times and do this just to build up the shading or as I say you can just stamp a butterfly cut it out and call it done up to you. I'm just always looking for an excuse to get the paint brushes out. So I'm just going in again where I want it even deeper. You start to see that you, you've got some darker areas and some lighter. And they start to look quite nice. So there we are. That's that's fine. That's all I want. You're a long way away. There we go. Sorry about that. I didn't realise you were so far away. Clean this brush off a little bit. Here comes Mr. Magic. There we go. <laughs> now you can see. Brilliant. Thank you, my dear. So I'm just going to pick up some more of this speckled egg. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm starting at the bottom and just putting a little bit of, I don't like this paintbrush one bit. Just start at the bottom, put another little bit of color in there, just to add a bit of depth. Might have to do this a couple of times. I think I've got green in my paint as well, which isn't helping. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got green in there, so let's clean that up. Spray some more of that out. And a bit more water and then we should be... Well, make sure that my brush is clean. No, it's quite green actually. I'm not surprised things were going wrong. Let's give this a go. So I'll pick up some of that and then just from the centre out just make it a little bit darker. 
as I say it's quite difficult with this because it is such a light colour but it's a pretty colour one of my favourites don't you know and then this one same so we want nearer the centre to be darker this one's curling round so we're looking at the back of it so it's going to be darker nearer the centre this one I think is it's the back we're looking at and then this down here okay so let's go back to this now and put on quite a bit of colour as much colour as we can get that's great so we're building up we've got one the bottom layer which was just a very pale layer then the next one a bit more this isn't quite dry yet so we're not going to get the full effect let's just waft some air over that There we go. I think you could say that's finished. I like that. There's not much more to do to it, so I'm going to clean my brush out, clean that up, dry that off and cut it out. So then you can come back to me when I've fussy cut that. <laughs> well, you could. Please, can you pause me? OK, so finally, after what felt like 100 hours, I have got my... A little stamped image fussy cut and it's going to go on here so let's have a look and see what it looks like oh it looks so pretty oh doesn't that look nice so once again we've got the marriage of Timmy and florals and I think it's just lovely I love that marriage um, let's just ink around here then we can get it stuck on I don't really want to ink too much not heavily but you know there are bits in my fussy cutting that are not perfect that could benefit from a bit of ink There we go. That's lovely. Right. So that's going to go there. Perfect. Let's get that stuck on. Then I just used my 210 grams, I believe it is, Pink Frog Super Smooth Paper. Um, it's really lovely if you need to fussy cut things out. The thicker stuff is more for watercolour indefinitely, uh, the 300 and the 350 now, but um, it, it's hard on your fingers cutting it out. So I use the, the 210 and to be honest, it's taken, it, it hasn't buckled or pilled or anything, no matter what I've put on it. So I'm really pleased with that. So let's put that there. Is that where that's going? I think so lovely oh that makes me happy it's so nice let's just give that a good push down with a towel there we go so there we have it our little let's clear the decks clear the decks yeah our little um coin envelope it's got a tuck spot on the front with a little uh, card in it which is lovely you could put um, twine on there if you wanted to and this is the back and then it's got a card inside as well 
That's lovely. Now, as I said to you, you could just stamp out a butterfly and do that, which is what I did with this one. I did put some stitching on that, but it's not, you know, it's not really necessary. And that was the coordinations paper as well, but that was bundled sage. So there's two different ones and the backs are different as well. This one's held closed with a paper clip. This one has got a string and button closure on it and a label and just some stamping there. So that's two different versions. This one, you know, if you've got a little time on your hands and you want to um, use your, your watercolour markers or your inks or whatever it is, you can uh, stamp something out and do it. Or this one, very, very quick. Just stamped out one of the darkroom door butterflies and just quickly filled in with ink. So there you have it. Oh, come down. <laughs> I hope you like them. I really like them. I think they're very useful little things for just popping in a pocket in a journal. Uh, or as I say, you know, putting in with some happy mail. Nice little addition. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this, you know, maybe the way forward for the future at the moment um but i'll let you know how things are going and we'll see what's what so thank you very much for joining me see you soon bye <laughs>